those three words I could talk about them but no I'm gonna thank anybody on this channel any of you members that have done any one of those three words thank you very much it means the absolute world to me and it really really does help our channel grow from the bottom of my heart thank you very much Today's game is Metroid Prime Pinball. This isn't really a request as such, but it was mentioned by RS Matrix. So yeah, thank you very much for uh, doing this, for mentioning this. And we haven't played many games on the Nintendo DS, so this is the first one that we're going to be doing. The emulator, I have no idea how to pronounce, but if you look for a little while, it will be appearing in the logo above me. So that will tell you exactly what we played this on. Let's get on with this game. We're playing this because of the recent pinball game that we played. So we're going to see what this goes like, how this plays like and how good it actually is so start to start the game and we're going to do multi-mission all i can tell you about this is i spent a little bit of time playing this just to have a look and the multi-mission will unlock more levels for you i haven't managed to do that yet however i have managed to get a couple of decent high scores on this strange little game so the uh what what could what, what, what can we say it's a double screen game and you know we're playing this effectively on a nintendo ds here um what you can see that little uh, purple stuff you see at the bottom of the screen is basically the ball save which disappears after a while and we've already unlocked a mode and this mode we've got to use ourselves as metroid prime to basically uh, hit those aliens because we're in a little ball. Yes, we're we 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 a little rolling ball here at the moment. Um, a little bit of concern I have when playing this game is it's oh, oh hang on, what is this artifact collected? Yes, right, artifacts. We've got to collect six artifacts. A little bit of concern I have is sometimes you don't see the ball. Look as it transitions from the top screen to the bottom screen. That's because of what we're actually doing here on the emulator, so to speak. You know, it can't emulate the middle of the screen that doesn't exist. It doesn't even have any graphics for it, so to speak. So, you know, I'm doing my best to not make a mistake based on what we see here. And we've basically got to hit the ball into these bad guys that we see. And sometimes they turn into purple balls when you do that. I've got 30 odd seconds to... Oh, balls! I lost the ball! Um, I had 30 seconds to basically do the last one that was left, but didn't manage to do that too well. But, you know, it's very fast paced. And, you know, I can imagine that this would be a lot of fun if you got it in a handheld device. Um, I've had a, what, a couple of goes on this, and I've got a couple of pretty good high scores that you've got on here as well. Not brilliant high scores, but actual high scores. Yeah, one of them is the top high score. And there's little arcadey bits, as you saw, that are actually in here. So I've enabled wall drum, but is, I'm not going to succeed on it. It's going to be very hard for me to do, um, but we'll give it our best shot. Um, but before wall drum, we have got to fight these aliens. So we shoot the balls into our oh, mother hell. We lost another ball. We were meant to shoot the balls into them and it was going to explode and eventually give us points for doing it. But now we're going to carry on. I think we're on our final ball at the moment. Alright, okay. So, there's actually stress trying to do the commentary while playing this. Select destination. Right, this is where we can go to a different level. So, we will go... Where shall we go? Can we go left? No, we just go to the, we'll go to the bottom. There you go. Go to the bottom. And we're going to teleport there. So, yeah, this is a game of multi-levels where you can jump around. So, we're in the overworld at the moment on our final ball. And look at this. It's even raining on the level we're at the moment. It's bloody raining. So, what I've done is to make it look, and this is just my personal opinion, make it look a little bit prettier. You'll notice that there's some scan lines um, on the screen there. They aren't on the emulator that we've got here, but I have added them on in terms of the presentation that we've got here. Because, you know, I'm trying to make the best looking videos I can, the prettiest looking videos I can. And I think for that, it really, really does work. So, not a too high score game here at the moment, you know. But I say multi level pinball game, and you get bonuses like you've got here. Um, come on, come on, what are we going to get? We've got a force field. So. That must be the purple thing back again at the bottom. Okay, that's fine. And we're just going to carry on playing with this. Right, here we go. If I could shoot into that, I will get points. Oh, no, maybe not yet. Oh, no, not yet. Oh, come on. And I missed there. There you go. You see me get some points. A few of those, and I will get another 
purple um, thing, I believe, because I think it leaves a purple ball. But we've got the force field back already, so we're kind of all right. Um, we have health. I know we've got health. So those blue things that you see in the the, the, the bottom of the screen that look like Tony Stark's heart ring there, um, you can see the alien grabbing it and basically, um, you know, taking things away. But it doesn't matter. We've turned it into a combat game now. So I'm using the flipper buttons to shoot those bug flies that we see coming down the screen. And this gets progressively harder as the game goes on as well. But if I achieve that, I think I will get an artifact. And I think it's six artifacts that will unlock different areas for you to play. And by different areas, unlock different areas. Because this has multi-game mode that you're seeing here now. And it's also got single game mode. And the single game mode uh, basically allows you to pick where you want to do and just play that area. But you only get a choice of two areas because I haven't unlocked enough. All right, come on, get you, get you. And there you go, mode complete. So if I grab that, that small purple stuff there, and my ball is locked. My ball is locked tight. How are your balls? All right, so the jackpot is growing as well. The bounty is the multiplier that you get. And you get, oh, we got the artifact as well. Yes, yes, yes. And you get all these interesting things here. So, you know, this is, you know, pinball, but pinball with a, with a, a, a twist. All right, so I've got more of those annoying things to hit. All right, we'll try and do that a little bit now when it allows us to do it. There you go, 100 points. Or 1,000 points. Yeah, I'm not sure what everything is on this screen, on this level. Okay, round we go again. Okay, we completed the mode and we got an artifact, yes! All right, let's get that purple thing as well. All right, so I think one more ball lock and we will be in um, multi-ball mode where there's going to be a few of us. It's absolutely raining cats and dogs here, isn't it, at the moment? Have you ever played a pinball game where they had rain? And now we've got strange multi-balls. Okay, different color multi-balls, different color balls. Really not sh I'm really not sure whether we, we've got an objective here. Oh, what is this? What is this? I've not seen these before, I don't think. Okay, we hit those as well. New monsters. So you can see he grabbed the ball there and he dropped the ball in a strange position. Oh my word. Okay, I think I've got 44 seconds to kill that guy. 39 seconds, 38 seconds. There we go, mode complete. Give me an artifact. Artifact collected. So lots of excited artifacts now. Have we got six? I don't know whether we've got six. I don't even know what everything means on that little sort of panel that's at the bottom there. But for basically a pinball game that has only got the top half of the screen where it's really doing the, the pinball stuff. You know, there's quite a lot going on here. No. Right, so we scored a lot more points in the gameplay than the bonus, but mission is over. So we're going to put GPC in. GPC, boom, there you go. All right, you can see when I had a go a little bit earlier, I actually did a lot better. Look at that score at the top. All right, so we're gonna start again. And we do multi-mission. And we're gonna start off in the Pirate Frigate, I think. Yes. Now, one thing to show you is I can't really do this in gameplay, but you can move the screen here by touching the touch bit at the bottom. But that involves using the mouse at the same time, which is something I don't really have the ability to do because I'm using this controller as we play. So this is why you're not seeing me doing any nudges because, quite frankly, I can't. Okay, lovely, lovely. 
we, we, we got this bonus a bit early. Alright. Okay, we've got a couple more of those things to hit. Okay, no more multiple. 20 seconds to get that last one. Oh, there's more. Of course there'll be more. Mode failed. Holy hell, we lost that ball very easy. Right, skip through this because I want to do more play. So the wall jump will give you a slightly different mini game of which I really, really um, am awful at. These things you only seem to be able to kill by hitting underneath. If you go on top of them, it's not successful. Oh, and that wasn't successful either. Holy hell. All right. We're on our last ball. Extra ball at 2 million points. All right, this is the jumping thing. You gotta make the jump as soon as you hit the walls, and it is so hard. And it goes so quick as well, it's like there, boom, in a blink of an eye, and then it's gone. Oh, it gives a good bonus. Okay, okay, that might work. Got that shooting missiles as well. Okay, one space pirate left. Oh, and we gone again. I was so busy looking at the guy at the top that I lost. Alright, let's have one more go of this. Fortunately, the games only last a few minutes because although I've had some good high scores, um, you know, I'm not doing too well now. But let's do Molly Mission again and we'll, we'll start off back here. Right, let's be better, let's be better. So I'm trying to light all of those for more um, multipliers. Come on. Okay, a code multiple. Yes, well that looks fun, doesn't it? Okay, I'm just focusing on what I need to be doing here rather than looking too much uh, ramps and stuff, trying to keep the balls alive. Ball alive, damn it. Come on, give me a multiple, come on. Will you give me a multiple? Will you do it? Oh. 
Well, I don't know whether that was good enough for hurry up or even what that meant. Fools! Come on, I need to be up at the top part of the table. Oh, I died so easy, I died so easy, I'm sorry about this. Right, okay. RS Matrix, let's do this for you, sir. Oh, I only just did that. All right, now I've got new things to shoot. So this is where you come out your ball and you go in the centre and you attack things. Some of these are different points, actually. Look at that, some are 400 points. Oh, I failed, damn it. Well, I got an artifact. And we go to a destination. Where are we going to go? Holiday time. Let's go there. Look at that. That looks like that's outside. Something drifts. Something drifts, that's called. Pandora drifts. Pandora drifts. Okay, okay. So that tells me to push that button when I need to. It's a boss battle, we're doing a boss battle. Balls. We've dropped down here. Are oh, you shit? Throwing the ball straight down there, you oh. utter shit. Oh, that's a cock. All right, so. That's a real shame. All right, we're going to start again. I'm going to go to single mission and see whether we have unlocked that area. So that's normal. That's normal. Now nah, we've only got that area. All right, so we're going to, we're going to go back because those are areas are locked on their own and we're going to have one more go of the multi-mission and I'm going to be quiet, I'm actually going to try not to talk to get as far as I can and this is for you RS Matrix 1 
I did it!
Right, time to go somewhere else now. Can we go to the mines? I really don't know where to go. Yeah, we'll go here. I don't know what this is. Oh, is this the one where it rains? We, we might have been here before. Yes, it took us above 800,000. That's good. All right. Okay, enter initials GPC. Yes, we will. Thank you very much. And where are we? Okay, we're fifth. You know what? Let's do one more. Let's do one more go because this has been and is a lot of fun. Okay, multi mission. And we'll start in the overworld.
his lead. So I can never do that, and now I've got the hang of that. I can do that, it seems to be, more often than not. Straight down the bloody middle. So we've got a feature now where these beetles are coming out. We've seen this before, and they, I actually called the name this time. It's Beetle Blast, so they're not flies, they're beetles. So we're shooting Ringo, Paul, John, and... There's the other one. David. I can't remember all the beetles' names. Doesn't matter. Flippers at controls, and that's relatively easy to do. Stuck at the top, um, growing the jackpot. And we've got another artifact. Ready. 
Ah, damn it, another ball lost. I'm doing my best, I'm doing my best. Dead then. More shooting, more shooting. Yes, we'll take that extra ball. That will be good for us. So look at that. Look at all those ones. Look at all those ones. All those ones on the score.
We're just letting the ball do its thing at the top at the moment. Waiting for it to drop down. I think that flashing yellow thing on the bottom swing on the top left will allow us to leave the level now. We've got lightning now. <laughs> oh no, that allows us to leave. All right. So let's do the drifts. Let's do whatever that is. Andrana drifts. Ah oh, yes, back up here. So if I recall, that's an enemy. Oh no, it's a power bomb. No, now we might get the enemy. And the power bomb is the Y button. And we lost a ball, we lost a ball. Damn it. All right, one more ball left, I think. See, when he's not a ball, our oh, balls, we're back down there. He's got a health bar. Skin. Come on, give me something good, give me something good. Down there again. He has a health bar and I'm trying to obviously hit him when he's not a ball and we lost the last ball. Oh that's a real shame. One three seven three. Okay. Are we top? Yes, we are. So this is a brilliant, brilliant way to end the video. It's a brilliant way to end the video because we are top. And you know, there's nothing better than being top. I've added those fireworks there to celebrate our victory, to celebrate our victory. 
But I hope you've enjoyed this. This has been a little bit different. This is a Nintendo DS game. I think we might have only done one other Nintendo DS game in the entire history of this channel. But I've had a lot of fun playing this. All of you stay safe. All of you take care. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Because that's what you do on YouTube. So do it now. Smash the bell. Enjoy.